Today's comments of a coffee, and in, in full disclosure, today it's uh, it's tea and not coffee because I think I've had more than my fair share of coffee this morning. I've had student calls all day, and I've got student calls all evening. So the topic that's coming up and the topic that's top of my mind at the moment is the fact that we have a sense and that my students have a sense that you have to be and feel completely comfortable and confident with something before you try it. So obviously in a study sense, uh, you know, this relates to doing questions. So when I say to students, I need you to do questions, they go, but I'm not ready, Yvonne. And what they're saying is I'm not confident, I'm not ready, I don't feel ready, I'm not going to pass it, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know enough about what I'm doing, etc, etc, etc. And so the idea is, until I am ready to pass that thing, I'm not going to try it. Like, I'm not touching it until I know that I'm ready to do it. So I'll say to students, look, you know, you're going to run out of time, because you always do, you're going to run out of time, you, you don't have the time to do all the beautiful studying, the theoretical studying that you want, and then do all the questions that you need to. You need to do questions before you feel completely comfortable and completely confident and ready to do them. You need to practice the stuff. And it's fascinating, you know, the pushback that I get is, is based on the understanding that in order to achieve something and in order to do something properly, you have to be confident first. So we've kind of connected this thing, and it's so fascinating that for most of the people that I deal with and for most of the people that I coach, there's a connection between confidence and success. And it's not so much that, um, you know, it's the idea that I can only do something if I feel confident in my abilities. Like if I'm not sure whether or not I can do it, then clearly I can't do it, so I better not touch anything. And unfortunately, the problem that we have with that is that it means that if you're not feeling confident, you don't try. So I have so many people and so many students that will defer exams and they'll put them off and they'll go, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to change career paths or whatever because I'm not feeling confident anymore. I used to feel confident in what I'm doing and that led to success. And now that I'm not feeling confident anymore, this is going to make me fail. And I think it's a false, it's a false indication of how the world works, quite frankly, you know. In, in, in what space in the world do we have the time these days to get comfortable with everything that we need to before we have to go and do something? You know, most of what we're doing in life is pushing the boundaries of what we're comfortable with and working outside our comfort zone. And we hear this all the time. You know, you don't grow if you're inside your comfort zone. You don't grow, etc., etc. We go, yes, 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 I know the motivational poster. Like, I've seen the pretty pictures. I'm like, yes, I buy that, you know. I don't grow unless I am outside my comfort zone. But we stay inside our comfort zone because that's where we feel confident. And we kind of we still have this idea that confidence is really important. Like, if I'm not confident, I'm not going to be successful. So it's it's different to say, you know, I'm not talking about like you should feel confident because, you know, that's a whole different discussion. I'm saying just because you don't feel confident doesn't mean that you're going to fail. It doesn't mean that you need to pick a new career. It doesn't mean that you need to change anything. And it also doesn't mean that you shouldn't try something. You know, in a lot of cases, it's like a chicken and egg. You know, you can't build confidence until you actually do it. Uh, one of my students I was talking to has said, look, think about driving a car. No matter how much someone told you this is how you drive a car, until you get behind the wheel of the car yourself, you don't know what you're doing. And no matter how many times you listen to them tell you what to do, you still had to go through that process of going, okay, let me try and do this. And the only thing that helped you build confidence was practicing more and more and more and more. You had to go through the process of sucking at driving, maybe driving into things, not driving for the while, having people shout at you, whatever the case is. You had to go through that process and you built confidence with the thing. If you waited until the point where you go, I am 100% confident that I know how to drive, before you get behind the wheel of a car, what are you basing that confidence on? Because you're not actually basing it on the competency because you've never actually driven before. So it's a little bit of a chicken and egg. And I think in studying, most of my students have this idea that confidence must come first. I'm waiting for confidence like this magic thing from the sky, Yvonne. When I feel confident, that is the day that I will start doing questions. So we're kind of like waiting for this meaning. We're waiting for this lightning bolt to come down from the sky of like, the sign that I'm ready to do questions is when I feel confident. 
And if I don't feel confident, then I'm not touching questions. So I want to break that cycle and I want to break that formula. That's kind of where you're sitting and you're going like, hmm, but isn't that how it's supposed to be? I want to challenge your thinking on that and go, if you've never tried to do something, you'll never be able to do it. You'll never have the confidence to do it because you can only build confidence in doing something when you do it. The idea that you have to feel confident first is a bit of a misnomer. Yeah. There's a difference between saying, I'm confident that I will be able to work it out. And I'm confident that I will be able to fix it. I'm confident that I will be able to, to, to develop and grow versus go, I'm confident that I'm going to be able to get in the car and drive perfectly from the very first time that I do it. Yeah, that's not the same thing. So what you're confident in, like I am confident in my abilities to fix whatever goes wrong, to, to develop, to grow, to develop the competency, to build and develop the skills. I'm confident that I will be able to do it and will be able to develop the skill. But there's nobody who can say, I am confident that I am now ready to get behind the wheel of a car and drive perfectly, even though I've never done it before. And that's kind of you know, what we say. Like, I must be and feel 100% ready to do questions and pass those questions and do them well the very first time that I put pen to paper. They must be perfect. That's, I'm waiting for that sense of confidence. And until I feel that confidence, I'm not going to do that. And hey, presto, one week before the exam, we're still not feeling confident. We still don't know what we're doing. But now the exam is a week away. Now where are we? So if that's kind of been your approach, I want to challenge your thinking on why and how you've connected confidence to, to your studying and, and what you believe needs to happen before you can actually make a move. Do you feel that you've got to have a feeling of sense of confidence and comfort and I will, be, you know, I will be able to pass this thing and I can pass this thing now and therefore I'm prepared to try? Or are you prepared to separate these two and go, regardless of how I feel, I need to practice this stuff. I need to get behind the wheel of the calm drive. I need to practice my questions and I will build the confidence as I will go. I will fix stuff. I will get help that I need. I'll work on the stuff. I'll develop the skills, etc., etc. as I go. So very powerfully, the stuff that's coming from students is kind of the misunderstanding and the confusion of Yvonne. When you say that I need to do questions before I'm ready, I don't understand what you mean. Why would you tell me to do that? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. I really want to question your thinking and interrogate your thinking around the understanding of the chicken and egg, the confidence and the ability to do stuff. 